A hundred card historic brawl. Settle the wreckage in hand after I called it. Riley, here we go. Nothing ventured, nothing gained here. Seasoned Pyromancer can let you ditch your hand in this case to draw two cards. Mm -hmm. And we need exactly two. We need Bone Crusher Giant and an untapped red source. Need the uh, the Bone Crusher Giant with Stomp, which uh, stops the, the nine lives from preventing mm -hmm. damage. And we need the red source to cast the Stomp, Dennis. And wouldn't you know there it? There it is. Look at that. I've always maintained, Dennis, I've always maintained that magic is a very skill-testing mm. game indeed, and Charizard James is showing us just how skill-based this game is, ripping the actual perfect two off the top here, and is going to win the game on the spot because of it. Yo, what's up, Titan Smash? Oh, no. No. <laughs> If this was the only way Tibble's Trickery had ever been used, Riley, I think it would have been balanced the way Wizards intended it. I think this is actually magic as R&D intended. Tri Tibble's Trickery getting rid of an eye twitch? Why are you scared of an eye twitch? Now you have to deal with a lolth. What was that? I'm terrified of an eye twitch, dude. Like, if, if only it had been something like a lolth, you know? <laughs> Raise the alarm. We found their win con. We didn't know what it was, and now we know. I've now found their win con. I don't like it. You fool didn't play around triple tithe. Listen. My opponent had Sky Tether main deck and then boarded out of all the bad cards and boarded in good cards like Memory Lapse and Teferi. How am I supposed to win if I know that? Their, their tempo play of two soldiers are going to win them the game. Oh, it hurts. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. I can't look. I can't look. Ow. Man, Val Valkmira is a problem. Nope. Oh no. Wait, what just happened? Why was this five mana? Oh no. It came in top. Oh no. It came in top. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Did we do it? Yes. I attack. Holy shit. I attack. I attack. I attack. Everyone's clenching right now. No. Oh, he lost. He lost. I attacked. No. No. What? Oh, he lost. Oh no. Okay, I want them to kill this first. So I play this first. And I want these two to, to cast my other spells. <laughs> stop, opponent. Stop it. Please stop. Please stop. Please don't do it to me. Don't cast another land destruction spell. Please don't. Oh my. Let's go! Not distortion! Uh, yeah. Feel the power of the six mana black sorcery. Not distortion, come forth! I summon the winged dragon of Ra! I was exaggerating. Oh, I'm Royal Eruption again! Oh my god! Kicker! Face! Oh, double Chandra emblem! Oh, is this. Yes! Oh! I guess I should just use this anyway. Wait, is this game? <laughs>
Oh, face damage. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> All right, give me Scorpion off the top right now. It's just, it's just too good to be true. It's just too good to be true. It's just too good to be true. What the heck, dude? Cheating. They have Fatal Push. I don't care if they have Fatal Push, they're gonna use it now. Oh no, it goes back in the deck! <laughs> no! Oh, if they have Fading Hope, I swear. I'm gonna pay three life and then they're gonna Fading Hope it back to their hand, I'm gonna cry. Okay, I didn't say that. Oh no, I should have played Dahlia first! No, I should have played Dahlia first! No, don't do it! No! No! The second one got approach. Wait, that still counts as casting, doesn't it? Wait, what? That's the worst possible. <laughs> that doesn't work the right way. Riley, does your opponent ever make a play that doesn't seem to make sense on the surface, but then over time starts to kind of come together? What is up, gamers? How is it going? The YouTube video is up from yesterday, but we're going to play the Kami War again today. What is up, my friends? We're playing it again because we're playing our our different build today. We're playing our control version, but I'm just working out the sideboard right now, so I want to show you what I'm doing. Let's look at it together. I'm trying to work out the sideboard. Maybe I want like another test of talents in here or something, but maybe I want like this painful stroke because Gold Spend Dragon. I don't know. Maybe I want like another Behold the Multiverse. The thing about the, like, hard control matchups, like the ones with the, like, a lot of counter spells and stuff, is that we'll just eventually lose to their creature spell, or creature lands. Um, I was playing a little bit last night, and I lost to a Hall of the Storm Giants. And then I also lost to a, uh, the white creature land, the dragon. In two separate games, not the same, not even the same game. So, like, that's a little bit of a problem. Because my removal is like sorcery speed for the most part. Outside of Infernal Grasp and Power World Kill. And I remember when I got killed by the Dragon Land, I had Power World Kill in my hand and couldn't use it because it was a dragon. So that was unfortunate. But uh, trying to figure this out. I don't. I can't really play Field of Ruin since we're playing five colors. I mean, it, it kind of does fix the mana a little bit. Um... I could, like, sideboard a Field of Ruin, which is, like, weird. But, like, I don't hate it. Like, if I'm sideboarding it, why don't I just main deck it? That's the question. We could just main deck a Field of Ruin and then sideboard, like, another whatever other card. I don't think I want, I don't think I can sideboard anything. Fading Hope? Rusty Laser, you get the first in chat today. In the Discord. Well, Fading Hope doesn't really get rid of the land. I need to get rid of the land. Like, against the hard control matchups, we have, like, Binding, Meat Hook, Battle of Frost and Fire, and... And, like, you know, Kami War, that's, like, all pretty bad. And they have a lot of counter spells. So how do I stop that? I 
Hermit? Hermit's a, Hermit's a question. I don't know. I don't think so. I also kind of lost to a Holebreaker Horror. Anything that has Flash is like hard for this deck to deal with. Like, maybe I play this? No. Some Planeswalker? Like, what Planeswalker can I play that grinds value? Well, Jinkataxis, it resolves, you, they just play Vanishing Verse on it. Heaven Death? Well, I guess to be fair, they're probably, they're probably, um, it counters the first Vanishing Verse. That's true. I can destroy stuff and bring it back on instep. Well, I can only do that if I have a Greater Tanuki or a Colossal Sky Turtle on the board already. We can try, Jen. Wait, this just gets Disdainful Stroke. Like, I feel like you have to play Holebreaker Horror because they can't get countered. As for a grinding planeswalker, Soren Lothrin. Soren's a bit too 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 black heavy, I think. I don't think Ren's as good in this deck as it could be. Also, I don't really want to mill myself. Like, what happens in control matchups? Is like, we just both keep passing. What other spell can't be countered? There's like a red burn spell that can't be countered. Like, we just keep passing because, like, I can't kill anything with my sorcery speed kill spells. And they don't play anything either until they get, like, you know, Holebreaker Horror with a bunch of cards in hand and then I, I lose. Like I agree with I agree with that Nimble Sloth that I'm not gonna have a lot of cards to deal with it, but hopefully they side out their vanishing verses. And like I can colossal sky turtle and bounce it back to my hand if I really need to. Like the the whole the whole stare at each other and pass and make your land drops game is what happens in this matchup. Like Shark Typhoon would be like the actual perfect card in this deck. Because the because I can bring Shark Typhoon back with Spirit Sisters Call. 
But hey, Shark Typhoon's not in this format. Oh my god, Shark Typhoon would be insane in this deck. Oh my god. Just think about it. Oh my goodness. Wait. I can bring this back with the sisters if it's in the graveyard. And then hopefully they take their vanishing versus out post board. It is double white, which is unfortunate. Like, post board, they definitely take their vanishing verses out, right? Because I have sky turtles and, like, a bunch of multicolored spells, so they take them out. Oh, yeah, Sisters won't return it as judgment because it's a creature in the graveyard. That's unfortunate. I mean, I can still just cast it with Disturb, but then it gets countered, right? Well, if we can't... What's up, Vorkaz? Well, if we can't go over the top of them, we have to try to kill them, right? Skeletal Swarming. That's actually a good idea. Oh. That's actually a, a great idea. We'll try that. How many need to be a five mana card, and this would have enabled the five color storm deck with World Tree? <laughs> they missed an opportunity. Maybe they knew about that. What's up, Jamers? This is the one Jamin here with another Kami War deck for you. Now, this is a completely different build than we did the last time. If you watched my last YouTube video, Two videos ago, we made this deck with a more ramp shell, playing a lot of green cards in the beginning of the curve and things like that. Now we're playing a more control build, and I think I like this deck even better. One of the sleeper cards in the set, I think, is Record or Bank Buster. This card is absolutely busted, no pun intended. It is a 4-4 vehicle, and it enters with three charges, charge counters on it, and you can pay two mana, tap it, basically like a Maze Mind Tome, and draw a card. You get three draws out of it, and afterwards you get a 1-1 one, one, and a treasure token. So we're going to utilize that for card advantage in our control deck, along with Behold the Multiverse and some removal spells in Meat Hook Massacre, Binding the Old Gods, Kami War, Battle of Frost and Fire, Colossal Turtle can bounce things as well, a couple power work kills in Infernal Grasp for instant speed interaction, because I feel like you need that in a control shell, and a little uh, sneaky, sneaky counter spell. Um, other than that, we have some ramp packages in Greta Tanuki and the Celestis, Soul Shatter for Goldspan Dragons and other creature lands, but other than that, this deck is going to be utilizing 
a control shell to control the game and then the kami war to take over with a 6-6 dragon we have a couple things in the sideboard like a couple copies of skeletal swarming that you can try out in best of one you can also get this back out of your graveyard with the spirit sisters call sacrificing meat hook massacre binding the old gods or whatever to bring this back out of your graveyard if it gets died or counter gets countered but let's go ahead and get into the matches i'm super excited about this deck it's my favorite version of the kami war and it all starts right now Tamil would be good bringing things back. Hold on. Oh, you're talking about the other Tamio. Oh, wait. Tamio makes copies of the cards in my graveyard. But that's not really that good because we'd have to like kill our own Tamio to do that. And plus, we don't really want to exile things from our graveyard because we have Spirit Sisters called to bring them back out of the grave. But, like, almost all of our things are 5 and 6 mana, so this is, thing's going to have to kill itself. Like, all of our things are just too expensive. The things that I would really want to bring back would be, like, Reckoner, Bankbuster, like, and Celestis. But other than that, I can't bring anything back unless I really want to, like, put this to one loyalty or whatever. Soltai super friends with two Vorn Clucks. That'll be busted. It means it'll be a little bit of a short stream today, unfortunately, because I do have to work a little bit early today. So we're going to go for uh, a little over two hours. Holy Diva is our first opponent. Oh. Hello. Alright, we're gonna go Death Boar Pathway. Oh? What does this do? Deals the damage. When you cast your next creature spell, it enters the battlefield initial plus one plus one counter. Exile the return of the battlefield transformed into a 2 2 haste. If this creature dot damage is turned by a source, you control with die exile instead. Okay. We're going to go for power word kill here. And then we also have Greater Tanuki. And on the following turn, to get another black source. And then we have Meat Hook Massacre. Pit Fighter gets a plus one plus one counter. Uh, am I supposed to exile this? Or get rid of this? I think I am. Yeah, this card seems pretty good. There's our other black, so we don't have to do that. So we can, can we can Greater Tanuki for red? Red or blue? Seems pretty strong so far, what, what Holy Diva's doing. Oh, that's really good against sweepers. Nice. Is the battery's gonna come back if I sweep? So I'm not gonna sweep next turn? 
gonna go for blue just in case I draw a bounce spell. Okay, how about more of those? I think I'm passing. But unfortunately, the rabbit's gonna play around sweepers too well for us, I think. Yeah. I mean, if we can get red mana, we can start firing off Kami Wars, but not until we meet. We need to meet with Massacre. And then they get the rabbits back. Oh, I'm probably pro I'm probably dead, right? I mean, I'm gonna gain two life and go to seven, so maybe that's my saving grace. But they get these back. Wow, that's actually really, really good. Oh, wait. Whoa. Wow, I'm dead. Wow. That was insane. Like, this card playing around sweepers is so powerful. It just makes sweepers not as good. Wow. 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 Like, actually really good. I mean, I'm going to bring my sleepers in anyway because I kind of have to, right? Need more instant speed removal? Yeah, I needed to draw them. I have them, but I just needed to draw them. I have the Sky Turtle to bounce whatever they play on turn two. Bank Buster. More bounce spells? You love to see it? I need red banner eventually. There's red mana. So I just Tanuki for red and then battle frost and fire. They don't have the they don't have the rabbit. Oh my gosh, come on. They didn't play this. That's unfortunate for me. Okay, binding is very good here. Because this can get me to another either blue source or white source. Already had double black. Roiling Vortex. Don't try to burn me out, Holy Diva.
A second one? Oh, crap. I could be dead soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm dead in like two turns, right? Good lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Next, wait, I'm dead. I'm dead on board. insane oh I would have drawn meat hook wow okay 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 wow that was impressive that was impressive By the way, officially now, when you play alchemy events, you get alchemy um, ICRs, rewards. In case nobody knew that yet. That was actually impressive. I had to mess I had to message Holy Diva on uh on Twitter just now. Just to tell her that her deck was impressive. Alright. I don't have red banner right now, but I do have some interaction. This is what we like to see. Power word kill. Bounce spell, bounce spell, or maybe like a regrowth for power word kill if we need to. Luminar Casperin, okay, sure. Do we bounce with Sky Turtle or do we just Power Word Kill? I think we just Power Word Kill. I guess it depends on what they do. Clone's name is today. All right, so I guess we're just going to Arctic Tree Line tap and then use either one of these, potentially, or do we Soul Shatter something? I think we actually play an untapped land here, so I'm going to play an untapped White Source. Just in case they play something we need to Soul Shatter.
Wow, what do they have here? They have they have a nice looking rope. That's what they have. A nice looking rope. But hey, I think we should be okay in this game. If we don't have to use the Colossal Sky Turtles, we can cast them for seven mana anyway. That's what I really like about the interactive cards in this deck and the ramp cards like Greater Tanuki. Not only does it ramp, but it also just is a 6-5 trampler on turn six. Not only does a Colossal Sky Turtle provide for bouncing and interaction, it's also regrowth for the channel ability here. Two in a green, discard it at any card from grave to hand. It's also just a flying ward to 6-5. So it's like... Part of the curve, and it also is the payoff. Yeah, can the opponent please play a card today? Not tomorrow. Today would be great, opponent. Adeline. I can just bounce this. Or I can just battle a frost and fire. I kind of want to keep Soul Shatter for the Planeswalker. Um, I kind of want to battle Frost and Fire. I'm just going to... Mm, I'm going to grasp it. We don't have red mana right now for Battle of Frost and Fire. But we can we can bounce a couple things and we have just any interaction for what they have. Do I play Wandering Mind? I don't play Wandering Mind. Is that an enchantment creature? If it is, I'll think about it. Wandering Mind doesn't get to Colossal Sky Turtle, and it also doesn't get to Greater Shinuki, so I don't know if I want to play that. Also, I'm not playing enough red mana to play Wandering Mind, I don't think. So I'd have to have red on turn 3, and right now my red cards are all on turn 5 and 6. I think this is the Planeswalker. Right now, it's not worth regrowthing for anything. All right, they did not play the Planeswalker. Right now, I just need to hit my land drops. The land drop, and it's red mana. Perfect. Pass. Like, this is more of a controlling build anyway, so I kind of want to be doing this. Caretaker. That's a Soul Shatter target, if I've ever seen one myself. And I can also regrowth for Soul Shatter later on. Land drop is good. I mean, I can even... I can even... Sc Another Adeline? Okay. I think I'm just going to go with Infernal Grasping this. Then I can regrowth something. Why don't we regrowth Soul Shatter? I don't need to regrowth anything right now, though. Could be the Planeswalker. I think I'm just going to cast the Sky Turtle, though. Because they it's Ward anyway, so they can't, like, exile this. The Planeswalker only exiles tap creatures anyways. So, I think we're in a okay spot to cast this. 
One thing also that I like about this deck is that Battle of Frost and Fire doesn't kill my Colossal Turtles, as it only does 4 damage. And it also doesn't kill Greater Tanuki, because that's also 5 toughness. We'll see if they have a Fateful Absence if they try to kill this. And I think I'll be okay with that. Yep. The cool thing about this deck, though, is that if I, when I draw a uh, Sisters, the 5 mana enchantment, I can bring this back. Kahilda. Matilda, I mean. Where Werewolves, Brule Cathar, okay. They're falling right into my Meat Hook Massacre trap. So I can Meat Hook for two. Leave my blue mana open for Colossal Sky Turtle ability. If I really need to use it. I probably should have Meat Hook for three just in case there's a Snake Skin Veil, to be honest. Caretaker. Okay. This is going to be a regrowth for Soul Shatter. Or I can just battle with Frost and Fire, right? I'm going to battle with Frost and Fire, actually. I should leave my blue mana up for Colossal Sky Turtle's ability. Actually, I can't because Battle of Frost and Fire takes blue mana. But I can also use Sky Turtle for a regrowth of um, Soul Shatter and Infernal Grass for a Power Word kill. But I can just do that next turn. I'll just foretell this this turn. That's our second blue mana. All right, all of those are good. I'll just keep slamming threats then. I'll do this so I can play two spells in a turn to get it off of nighttime. All right, this works out for me. I'll draw both of those. Ranger class. Okay, I have binding for that. Negate. Uh, if I if I battle with Frost and Fire, I draw two discard two this turn, or draw two discard one, which I think I'm going to be doing, and then I can just binding after. Comas. I'm not playing Coma. It's not an enchantment. Search for forest. So we're going to get the... I guess our only forest in the deck. Scry 3. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so what we can do here... Because we can bank buster. This is going to be good. This is going to be great. We can draw a card. This draws our Kami War. And then we cast Kami War. Exiling Hopeful Initiate. And then next turn, Battle of Frost and Fire is going to go to Chapter 3 again. Then we have Colossal Turtle and Greater Tanuki to draw 4, discard 2. If we can cast all of them. If I draw an untapped land, I can. That's 
it's not an untapped line. Look at these triggers! Um, I'll return Meat Hook Bastiker back to my hand, thank you. Discard a card. Another Fateful Absence, sure. I will Meat Hook... Hmm... Meat Hook Massacre for two. This is going to be sick. Pass Greater Tanuki. Draw two, discard one. Don't need Celestis anymore. Play blue mana to hold up Negate. And, and, this, and this thing. Crew three. Greater Tanuki. Boom. Bada bing. Attack for four. Absolute domination. All right, battle meat hook. <clears throat> Take out negate. Take out a Kami War. And take out a I guess two Kami Wars. If they're playing an aggro deck, six mana is kind of a lot. And we only need really we only realistically need one of them to finish the game off. And in the case that you just saw there, we don't need any of them to finish the game off. That's good. We have a turn two play. Alright, so we go Arctic Tree Line. Mark channel on blue. Behold the multiverse. And then we can go Clearwater on black Celestis. And then we can binding the old gods the Luminarch next turn. Or two turns from now. It's gonna be hard to meet Hook with the Luminarch on board, though. At least we have Binding. Okay, double Luminarch. I might be able to, to tag something here. Okay, I guess we're just gonna, like, double... We're just gonna Binding the Adeline, I guess. Wait, if, Oh, that's a good card. Although, Adeline probably still kills us. Wait, if we meet Hook for three, we gain one, two, three, four life. We go to eight. I think we meet Hook for three. And then hopefully they can't kill us with Adeline, and then we can Binding it, or Battle it. No, we can't Battle it, we have to Binding it. Most they can do right now is 5, right? 3, 4, and then the 1, 1. 6. We might survive if Adeline dies. Okay. So you're saying there's a chance.
Okay. Life gain from Meat Hook Master coming up here. Celestis, Celestis coming up here as well. Discarding Tanuki is relevant. Let's get a red mana here. Discarding Tanuki is relevant because I can bring it back with Spirit Sisters Call. Hopefully this works. If they have the Planeswalker, I'm dead. Because the Planeswalker can make, can make a 2-2. The Wanderer. Oh, wait. Oh, they're going to draw a card. Okay, well, that's kind of good for me, right? Did you play this deck in Alchemy? Oh, yeah, yeah, you can play this deck in Alchemy. Oh, my gosh, they did nothing. Whoa, are you saying are you saying we're stabilizing? Is that what you're saying? So now we go land spirit sisters call. Behold the multiverse. To so turn it back to daytime so we get in, gain another life with Celestis. Meat hook infernal grass, I'll take both, thank you. And then what we can do is we can bring back the Greater Tanuki, sacrificing Battle of Frost and Fire. To have a blocker just in case they have a flash threat. Celestis that's gonna loot. Are we looting? I guess so. Caretaker. Okay. Soul Shatter? Meat Hook. Alright, so what we do here is... Meat Hook for four? Wait. No. No, 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 no. We just passed turn. Yeah, that's what we do. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to bring back Battle of Frost and Fire, sacrificing our Meat Hook Massacre, and Greater Tanuki's not going to die. Goodbye. Loot. Gain life. I have not gotten rid of multi this many Avabrut caretakers in a match in my entire lifetime. With Soul Shattering Caretaker and Battle of Frost and Fire and bringing it back. All at the brink of death and despair, being at one life. Take action. That is a binding that we can get back out of the graveyard. This card is really good, chat. Spirit Sisters Call. Roll back later, sure. If I Inferno Grasp, and then they respond to Inferno Grasp, they, it means they pay two, play two spells this turn, which means Celestis triggers again, so I'm going to do this. You're enchanted with your green-white enchantment deck. Hey, look, they played two spells in a turn, just like I said they would. Boom. And then I do this. 6-5 Trampler. Draw a card. 
Huh? And then I'm gonna loot. My turn. Take action. Discard branch off pathway. Draw another card. Scry three. <laughs> Give me the cards. Play. Huge card. Fast. I'll go Death Cap Glade here. What a lot of people don't know is you can swap your lands. So I go Death Cap Glade, and then I'll get rid of this regular black so I have an ad additional green. And then that means I can I, I can behold the multiverse this turn as well. Because it like technically like pseudo untaps a land if your land goes to the graveyard. Yes. Wonderfully gross. Mmm. Mmm, that just felt so good. Just the amount of satisfaction that I got out of that was just unreal. One second, chat. back I like the I like Kami of Transients Kunz. I like that a lot of the cards that are good with enchantments are also enchantments. I actually added one of the cards to my commander deck, to my like CEDH commander deck. It's the the green white enchantment creature that says all of your enchantments cost one less. And it's already a 2 2 lifelink for two. Oh, Jukai Naturalist. Yeah, you're playing that card as well. That's what the card's called. Rune of Might. Ranger class, yeah, that, that deck looks pretty good. We're gonna get a draw off of this, though. Yo, Denryal, what's up? Uh, Kunst, if you can refrain from typing typing the the like all of the text in there like that or like send it as a as a whisper or something well yeah yeah I know I know um I just I, I never let anybody I never let anybody post like any deck list in that format into the chat because it can get like super annoying after a while if people start doing it so I have to crack down. Or or you can just send it in the Discord. I'm, I'm pretty sure Denriel's in the Discord. Hey Denriel, are you in the Discord? The Discord's definitely the perfect spot to post death lists like that. Okay, no, no need to apologize, you're good. Well. 
How about a poker hand? It's like when dad is scalding a sibling. Wait, scalding? All right, to all dads out there, you should not burn your children on purpose. Oh, wow. This map looks cool. Like, I have this side, and they have, like, the watery, cool lily pad side. Oh, my gosh. I click this, and it goes all, like, pixely because of Kamigawa. Uh, what if I click this? Wait, my side's not pixely. Oh, no. Am I dead? Am I dead? Yeah, I'm pretty dead, right? I'm pretty very dead. I, I was banking on drawing a land, and that just never happened. Can I draw a land? Thank you. Thank you. Although I'm probably still dead. What if they what if they field of ruin me and then expecting that I'm not playing any bases because I'm playing a five color deck? Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm indeed dead. Counter that gold spin deck. Alright, hopefully if I cast four bindings in a row, I should be okay. Except for that's probably not going to be the case. Draw disruption, number one. Disdainful stroke. Okay, scale of one to dead, how am I? Your opponent casts Kinderclasm just to evolve their Ashmouths. Only thing that can save me here is a resolved freaking. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> They can't get rid of Skeletal Swarming, right? Battle and Frost and Fire seems pretty good against them. Go blank, duress, test of talents, negate. Power kills giant trash. Down a spirit sister. Down a couple turtles. Guess we'll go down all the turtles.
Uh, I missed two land drops that game, actually. Yep, it was definitely enough. Alright, three lands. Do I keep this? Green, black for binding, black for infernal grasp. Okay. Should be okay. You know, unless I just don't draw lands again. You know how it goes. You know how it goes, right, chat? Alright. So now all we need is red mana, which we can get off binding. See, against these is it decks, we're, we're basically just like a back and forth game, but if I can resolve skeletal swarming, we, we, can, we can go back and, back and forth all day long. I might go naked binding here. Nah. I like I want to save binding for an egg or a gold span. Alright, so I do this now. They counter it with negate or test of talents or something. Oh, fading hope. Yikes, that was worse than I needed it to be. Crap. Well, that sucks. This is why I need Soul Shatter. Well, I mean, I have it in the deck, I just haven't drawn it. Alright, now they have 5 mana. Ooh, Duress is perfect here. Memory Delusion Response. Oh my gosh, they have Leer. Unexpected Windfall is also really insane. So they can gold spin plus shock shadow skull smashing and then still unexpected windfall discarding drawer disruption. We get our red source from binding.
Unfortunately, they have a Fading Hope in the graveyard, so that's not good with their Leer at all. I don't have anything to get back off Spirit Sister. Man, I might as well cast it. I can't do anything else. Gosh, did they draw another? But uh, I guess they can windfall in response and get two more treasures and have four mana available. Unfortunate. Really wish they didn't have that fading hope. Yep. That's fine, at least I can't negate my battle of Frost and Fire. If they did that there. The Lear gets back Fading Hope, it gets back. Uh. Unexpected windfall. But at least Battle of Frost and Fire can theoretically kill both of these creatures. But Fading Hope's going to bounce the leader back to hand. battles. I don't have double red, though. So they're going to bounce their gold spin back to hand? Or Lyra or something? We're gonna do all of this stuff and then fading hope. <laughs> oh, they're gonna counter the battle of frost and fire, then bounce the leer, aren't they? So they keep the gold spin, and then they just kill me with gold spin and the other card. Oh, uh, they could have killed me, but now they can't unless they have a spike field hazard in hand. I'm confused. I was, I was, I was just, I was literally dead. Gold spin. Gosh, why am I playing against these decks? I'm not playing against, like, you know, decks that are brews and stuff that I want to play. If that deck's going to be a thing, then Skeletal Swarming is pretty bad. Where I need to play other cards that deal with their stuff.
Like, we, we have the creature matchups down pat, right? We just have to fix our control matchup. Like, what are we supposed to do against a Leer and a Goldspan Dragon? I mean, Battle of Frost and Fire is really good against that. But how are we supposed to interact with, like, the Fading Hope back to hand to recast it, deal more damage, instant speed stuff? I don't really know the answer to that question. I'm on the draw, I have Celestis. I can draw one land, right? I can draw one land, right? Right? You might have used channel points on a second monument build around. Let's freaking do it. Okay, I scoop. Okay. Not bad. Oh, it's actual rogues vomit. Oh no, our black mana. Oh no, our actual mana. All right, here's a black mana. All right, at least we have meat hook, but that's probably gonna get countered by spell pierce. Okay, can you stop milling my lands, please? I need those. Okay, that's it. okay. Stop milling my lands, please. Am I supposed to cycle Tanuki now, or am I supposed to Celestis? Probably Celestis, since they probably can't interact with it. They could also Zara send me if they draw an untap land. Oh god. If I draw one land, I can kill everything. Untap land. Oh my god, stop milling my untap lands. Crap. Don't spell pierce me. Okay. Don't fading hope it. Ah! No! Wait, I'm dead. <sighs> dead with sweepers in hand because they milled all our untapped lands, chat. I feel like that was like the god draw. They also mulliganed. Turn three massacre could have helped. Could I have done that? I could have killed the wind robber. I mean, I was always going to die if they kept the thought thieves. So I think the thing that helped me win the game the most was being able to kill these. Like I could have got rid of these and then they still had these and I would have lost anyway, I think. Yeah, yeah, the other one won.
Like, there's a chance that if I don't kill the Thought Thieves, I'm dead anyway. So I feel like it was worth it for me to try to try to join on Templin to kill everything. What does Thieves Tools do again? Am I am I killing the wind rubber here? Probably not. Build my only copy of Spirit Sister. Can't arrest my turtle and my tanuki opponent. But I can I can get back my Kami War or Spirit Sisters call. I don't have white mana though. What you got? Yikes. If they draw an untapped land, then they can Zerathan. Take a couple payoffs. Alright, so what I can do here is I can regrowth back the Spirit Sisters call, and then I can sack the Meat Hook Massacre to bring back the Kami War. If 
But I think it's better to just do this this turn. Let's go. Tommy War too hot to handle. Too hot. Okay. Well, they got land screwed. They have duress go blank in hand or in their deck. I should probably try to test the talents to go blank. I don't have blue mana, but I can get to it from Greater Tanuki. I love how my, my ramp cards in these interactions can't get duress. It's just so funny. Alright, no Zerasan. Frontal Grass, perfect. Alright, no Zerasan there either. I guess they don't want my Battle of Frost and Fire, right? Pretty good. Let's get blue mana. Can Sky Turtle back Battle of Frost and Fire if they like Sorcery Speed play something? If they go land Hollow Storm Giants, I can Infernal Grasp it. That's a Zerasan. I'm like almost dead to if they just untap land me. Wait, not quite, not quite dead to untap land. Why are they playing return to action over the one that's land? I don't know, maybe it, because it gives plus one, plus oh.
Should I go for just hard casting Glossal Sky Turtle? Probably not, right? I need interaction for their lands. Get rid of an Agadim's Awakening. So I can bounce that. I don't even need. I don't even need to really do anything to that. I could colossal sky turtle back infernal grass, but then I still get. I still have to take life. But then it puts them off of one land off st all the storm giants. So I think I'm actually going to do that. And then depending on what they target. Nuki. Why in the world is it doing that? Macy, how's it going? That was a good draw because it gets to my red mana next turn and they're one mana off, two mana off from Hall of the Storm Giants now, now that I killed the Hive. Alright, one mana off. Unfortunate. I need to draw an answer to this. Yikes. I'm probably dead to Hall of the Storm Giants. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Oh, Zerasan. Okay, so I'm dead. hate flash decks this is like the, the flash decks are just like the worst nightmare for this sorcery speed tribal how's my day great i don't know why i keep playing against these decks right now whereas like i rarely ever played with against these before before uh before today Alright, this hand's pretty good. Probably can't get rid of Bankbuster playing Black White.
Good draw. This can get to my red mana. How's it going, guys? It's all good to see you. Crap, I, I want to hold on to my binding now. Unfortunate. I mean, I guess when binding dies, I can sky turtle it back. I, mean, I don't. I don't think alchemy is terrible. I think there's a spot for it in the, in the like among the player base. Like if you're the type of player that oh my gosh, graveyard trespasser. If you're the type of player that loves you know games like Legends of Ruterra. And all those, all the other games that are basically digital only, it's Wizards' way of kind of creating that without creating that, if you know what I mean. Basically, like creating that as much as they can as possible, like digital only type format. Oh, crew that. Um, and there's definitely, definitely a place for that. We can colossal sky turtle that back to their hand, or we could just not. Kind of don't want to do that. We could behold the multiverse or draw a card off Bankbuster. I think I behold the multiverse. Danuki's okay. Alright, we got Inferno Grass, which is good. So what we can do now is Inferno Grass the Trespasser, discard Dark Four Pathway, Colossal Sky Turtle back the binding draw card from Bankbuster. Or I could just play Greater Tanuki. And then, like, attack with Bankbuster. No, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna play Greater Tanuki and then hold up the crew, just in case they have, like, Rite of Oblivion or something. Like, you're the type of player that loves Hearthstone. For those of you looking at the screen from YouTube as well. For those of you that enjoy Hearthstone and enjoy, you know, RNG-based effects and thinks it's really fun, nothing wrong with that. And I think they wanted to kind of tap into that market when it comes to magic. So, I don't blame them. I don't blame them for doing that, but at the same time, there's also a market for the people that are more purist about it. That want to play it as true to paper as possible. And we've already found out... That they want to make that they want to make a format on arena that's more true to paper. That is true to paper, which is going to happen. Um, with uh, the numbers and analytics also proved in their income that paper magic still is a large, large, large portion of their income, especially because commander is so huge, and they want they don't want that to slip up either. Now, it, whether that affects actual paper standard, paper pioneer, that's a diff that's another story. I don't really know. We, I don't think we can know about that, but I don't think they plan on giving that up either. So we, we'll, we'll see for sure. Uh, what are we doing here? 
We want a sky turtle back to binding. But I also want to infernal grasp this. Well, they didn't say it was going to be true to historic paper, true to his, true to paper historic. They never said that, right? Unless I'm mistaken. They just said true to paper. Period. They're gonna blink this. That's unnecessary. Well, they, they didn't say Pioneer specifically. I, I wish they would say Pioneer. But they didn't. But we were supposed to get Pioneer Masters in 2020 and never got it. That's unfortunate. Edgar. How do we do with Edgar? Behold the multiverse. I really need to draw a sleeper, right? This can get binding. That's not enough, though. I need land. I need land sweeper. Alright, now what can I draw? Oh my gosh, it was one away.
Alchemy is nothing like Hearthstone? There's aspects of alchemy that are like Hearthstone, is what I, what I meant. Oh, this hand's pretty good. We go white, and then we go black, and then we have green mana here. Well, yeah, I know. I know Hearthstone's not like alchemy because the games are fundamentally different. There's no blocking, the attacks are different, like, the whole game is fundamentally different. So, like, yeah, it's true to say that alchemy is nothing like, is nothing like Hearthstone, because the games are, di they're completely different games. And there's also no instant speed interaction. But, like, that's not what we're talking about, though. We're not, we're not even, we're not talking about, like, we're not... That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about if you like that style of play and the style of cards that that that, that those cards are, not the actual way to play the game. They play the blink cards, so we. I think I want to just power or kill now. Like I'm definitely not talking about the fact that you can attack your opponent's creatures. There's no taunt or whatever. There's no, you know, you know what I mean. There's no like rush or, you know, rush is just not in the game of magic because you don't attack each other's creatures. But it's like, it's not as close as you can get to her stone alchemy, but it's still like, kind of in the, in the same vein. Trying to draw a land there. Yeah, well, it's it saying like you might as well play Hearthstone is a little bit of a stretch. But you know what the you know what the what should be say said instead of you might as well play Hearthstone, you can always play a different format. Nobody says that you have to play alchemy. I understand if you're a historic only player, it could be a little bit frustrating because the alchemy changes affect historic, but they've already said that they've heard the people and want to change that. They've already said that. I can Sky Turtle in Power Word, but that doesn't really help me get towards red mana. Well, yeah, but at that point, we can't we can't just assume that people are lying now. I could go for bottoming Power Word, drawing the Binding, and hope to draw an Untap Land. A little risky though. Well, 
a little bit scary here. What's going on? Oh, please steal to ruin me. So we just soul shatter here? To use our mana better? They can do Arena Pioneer or Pioneer Masters and still work their way to full Pioneer? That was the thought that I had. Like, why not, why not just let the players know that it's not going to be 100% Pioneer and then just add cards to it over time? Crap, they have Dra Graveyard Trespasser. Alright, can I draw a Sweeper, please? Well, I have one. I just need to draw Red Mana. Red Mana, please. Okay. I have more blue mana in my deck than I have red, so why don't I just get red now? There we go. Playing the odds like a champion. Well, now they just get to hive the eye tower on us, but we have power word kill next turn for that. It's been two years since they said they bring Pioneer to Arena. It has to be a good percent done. I don't think it has to be a good percent done. They just allocated dip their resources for Pioneer into Alchemy and other things. So they could have... Like you have to think about the that, about the fact that they're people. And if you're if a, if a person is working on, on Alchemy or other things, it doesn't mean that they're also working on Pioneer. Whether or not you think that's a good idea or not is a different story. But people can only do certain a certain amount of things, you know what I mean? I need to keep my power word kill for that hive, right? No, because I can just bounce it. You can bounce the hive with Sky Turtle. I need to draw a land. Bust that bank. 
All right, so this gives us an opportunity to power work kill the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Do we care if it exiles something? I think I just don't want them to use that card that says if it dies, it comes back. Oh, they're getting rid of that? Sure. It would take like 60 cards to bring Pioneer back to Arena in a functional way. I don't I don't I don't think I disagree with that. A lot of busting banks, chat. All right, Edgar's annoying. Alright, so what I can do here is I can battle Frost and Fire the Edgar. I mean, I could just bounce the Edgar back to hand, but... I think I battle in Frost and Fire the Edgar here. It becomes a thing. They get a 1-1. One, one. Trying to draw land. This can attack. I didn't think about the interaction between two different Wrecker or Bank Busters. That's pretty good. One can make the 1-1, one, one, the other one can swing. And then this next turn, I can Binding the Edgar over here. Oh my gosh. Bat can I get the Battle and Frost, Frost and Fire back? Okay, I drew it. <laughs> Tommy War, Test of Towns, Death Cap Blade. I think I want all of these. This kills the wolf too. The light is insufferable. We will smart, I generous. I guess I can Colossal Sky Turtle back one of these. Redain. What I can do is I can get Spirit Sisters Call and get back my Binding and Binding the Edgar.
No, I can't do that yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I can Colossal Sky Turtle back to Raidane. And then I can Binding the Edgar and then hold up Test of Talents. My God. That works on artifacts. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Wow. Oh my gosh. And it comes back with, oh my goodness gracious, that was insane. And I couldn't test the talents it because it's a channel ability. Oh, that was broken. Wow. Yikes. And now I think I'm dead? Am I dead? No, I'm not dead yet. Holy crap. That was actually insane. I'm not dead yet, but I'm pretty darn freaking close to it. If they have another touch of spirit realm, I'll be like super upset. Bring back Battle of Frost and Fire. Please don't have this card again. Vanishing Verse, Test of Talent. Vanishing Verse this. I will Test of Talent your Vanishing Verse. Legion Angel, Wedding Announcement, Another Touch, Go Blank, Trespasser, Bank Buster, Duress. They're probably going to be setting out their Vanishing Verses after this game. That's a problem. Okay. Play this. Tommy wore this. Go to one.
And then when I go to one... Well, then next turn I can sacrifice the binding to get back a chump blocker for the one one. Um, are we stabilizing though? Return this to the hand, they discard their last card. I can't kill this card. Wait, no, no, I can, I can block it with the Bank Buster token. Then I get my jump blocker. His record bank buster gets a one one pilot. Why the heck did it tap my blue mana? Well, I guess I have this anyway. The treasure. I also have a little bit, of, like only six minutes left on the clock. Five minutes left? <laughs> Can I win in five minutes? Okay, I'm glad they scooped now. Wow. So this is what our deck's supposed to be doing, but like living living at one is just insane. Alright, so under the assumption that they're taking out their vanishing verses, and they're gonna win the game with Graveyard Trespasser, Edgar, Lolf, Graveyard, um, and uh, like Luminar Casperit and stuff. They have Duress and Go Blink in their deck. Uh... Any chance you want to play a deck like mine soon? If you put it in the deck submission, I'll be happy to play it. Um, You're not a sub, though, actually, so you don't get one free one. 
It's it's ten dollars to submit a deck, but it's five dollars if you're sub. Well, five dollars because of the sub the sub cost. I guess I'm just gonna do this. This. I got. I gotta give the subs first priority. That's the. That's the goal. All right. How about we not fight with each other, guys? I'm okay. I'm okay with healthy discussions, but let's not fight, okay? Fighting is for babies. I'm gonna do this now because they play that freaking. Dumb channel card. Are oh, the game's going pretty well, pretty well. Last game was a really good example of what this deck's trying to do. Wedding announcement, that's really annoying. Hold the multiverse. We are going to ramp. Green, black, white, blue. Ramp with greater Tanuki. Next turn, behold the multiverse. Yikes. Well, listen, if someone gifts Koons to sub and wants to see Koons deck, then I can play it since you'll be sub. Or if you redeem the Choose My Deck award reward, then I can do that too. Choose My Deck lets me play the deck. Test of Talents, Behold the Multiverse. Huh. This? This. Which you do when you get enough candy. That is true, Coons. That is true. Gotta get gotta get more candy. Gotta get them rare candies. Duress. I guess that'll be a test of talents. I really need to draw a sweeper though. So I'm just gonna let them get my test of talents, I guess. Can I use Choose My Deck for Koontz? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll do that, we'll do that one tomorrow. Sleeper, please. I have so many sleepers in this deck right now. All right, here we go. But th hopefully they don't have the channel card a couple times in a row. Please don't have the channel card. What's up, Bolt Snap Bolt? What would you like to know? What advice would you like to get? Wolf. Okay. Second Battle of Frost and Fire is really good here, unless they have duress right now. Perfect. Meat Hook. Perfect. Let's go. Meat Hook, Binding, Rhymewood. Let's go ahead and go Binding first. Then I draw Binding, I play it. Next turn, draw Meat Hook, and then shuffle this back. Blue. Battle. Goodbye, Lolf. <laughs> At least there is blood on your hands. Subs oh my god, Guy in the Skull. Thank you so much for gifting Coons a sub. Alright, so that's two then. There's a choose by deck from Jarvis Moonbeam, and you can use your free one now. Another wedding? I need to use my bindings for the weddings. But now they're too expensive. Meat hook, Tanuki, Tanuki. I need to keep the Tanukis on top because I only have two minutes in this game. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, I can I can meet hook for four.
Graveyard Trespasser. Crap. I need to kill my opponents. Alright, so I play Greater Tanuki. I draw two, discard a card. And then I have two mana left. Vanishing Burst me, though. Perfect, thank you. Now they can't Vanishing Burst my Tanuki. One, two, boom, 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 boom. Just in case I draw a Test of Talents or Negate or something. Do that. Okay, those two. Does that work? Okay, discard this. I have a minute and 50 seconds left. They use their Vanishing Verse, now they can't Vanishing Verse Greater Tanuki, and now I just have to attack a couple times in a run win. Lolf? Yo, what I love to see. You'll love to see it. Not really. Darkness okay. So what I can do is I can Meat Hook for two... Well, they're attacking with this? Sure thing, Jelly Bean. Um, this goes to two, it goes to five. I can Meat Hook for two, it doesn't really do anything. Let's do this. Um... This does that. They get a draw. I draw a land. I do this. I do... Um... Kami War. Here. I attack Lolf. Shift enter. And I, the generous one. Then I can bounce their four four and discard a card. Land Tanuki Finding This Attack Go One top deck, what you got? Dead in two Duress, meat hook, bye I go Win? Win the game? What you got? Huh? Let's go. 43 seconds left. Hog? Redane? Sure. Power kill? 38, 37? That's such creatures. Raider Tanuki Lethal! Tanukis! I always knew this common would come in handy. 6-5 Trample for the win. Let's freaking go. <laughs> Attack for 18. Uh... The salt rope. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There are a lot of decision trees, Drivers Moonbeam. Imagine that Saga trigger had cost you two seconds you didn't have. Don't remind me, guy in the skull. That's why I clicked decline on it instead of getting a land. Oh yeah. You'll love to see it. Rank it up. You were watching that day? It was a very, very sad day. It was a sad day in the history of the One James channel, I must say. Hopefully I have enough content to put on a... on a YouTube video from that, because I have to use it. 
This is my favorite deck right now, even though it didn't do very well for us that time. But we just have to work out the, the flash matchups. We just lost to a, to like is it a couple times in like a flash Demir deck. If we can if we can work out those matchups, then this deck could should be really, really good. You got in the Super Bowl? I want the Bengals to win. It doesn't mean that it doesn't mean that I think they're gonna win. I just want them to win. The Jin plus Mirror Box deck looks really good. Who played Jin plus Mirror Box? Is it also playing? Is it also playing like Dollhouse of Horrors or something? How are you getting that many Jins on the battlefield? The plays you made with Orzov that day were awesome. Pity that what people remember is the last moment. Oh my gosh, I know. That was such a good tournament for me. I played so well. Can I get my advice on how to get Jane to play my modern deck now? That's going to take a lot of money to get me play a mo to play a modern deck, especially because I have to actually get the cards in Magic Online. Like, it would be in the hundreds, Bolt Snap Bolt. Like, I'd have to get a card trader type thing and get down... And get Magic Online and get the cards. <laughs> and play it. And take a viewership hit because I've never played Magic Online. And and not have the content for a YouTube video. Unless I just make it into a YouTube video. Alright, Jamers, you've seen my favorite deck post the new set with the Kami War in a control shell. We absolutely annihilated people. And I really hope you get the chance to annihilate people too. Thanks for watching this deck. And as always, leave a like and subscribe if you like the content. Liking is more important, by the way. It helps it reach more people. And that's the plan. Right now, thank you guys for hanging out this long. I really appreciate every single one of you that hung out that hung out here. Um, we are going to be starting up um, our join feature. If you'd like to join and influence the uh, which decks that I play for you guys on YouTube. Also, check out the Discord. Links down in there in the description. We talk every single day about magic, whether it's standard, alchemy, historic, whatever it is. So have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. And as always, peace. Click that over there. Right there, click it. All right. Yo, Floofies, how do you get your name to look like that? Is that the 7TV thing that makes your name look like that? That's pretty cool. Model Black Magic made it. All artifacts. Oh my god. It has Celestis plus Forsaken Mountain, a monument to ramp. Wow. You said to drop a bit of cash? Oh, if you pay them, you can get that cool looking name? That's pretty cool. I like that. Anyways, I have to go to work a little bit early today, so I have to, I have to go, unfortunately. But, what's really good news here is that we get to go to a different streamer and watch them play. Who we're going to watch? I don't know. Let's watch someone else possibly playing standard. Um, we have some alchemy playing, streamer showdown. Funny how people are doing a streamer showdown with a bunch of really popular streamers, and I've been doing it for like over a year straight. Anyways. Oh, let's go to Arjuna. Amber, thanks for the follow. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow for some more Kamigawa Neon Dynasty decks. Um, I'm looking in the deck submission right now. I'm refreshing it to see what to see how far we are in the deck, deck submission. We currently have no decks in 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 line to be played. So make sure that if you make sure that if you are a sub, you get a free one every single month. So make sure to to go in the Discord and look at the at the Goose Gang stream submission form in the Discord. Fill it out because that's the only way I'm playing your deck on stream. Also, if you were if you redeemed to choose my deck, I know someone did. Make sure to fill this out. And if you're a sub, make sure to fill it out as well. Get me to play what decks you want me to play on stream, and they go on YouTube, so you get the double trouble. I'll see you over there. Bye.